All right. Hello, I'm Isaac, and this is Z Saga. This is the first episode, and it's about making money. Mm. You may have heard of Bitcoin, but have you heard of Pepcoin, our first sponsor of the show? Pepcoin is a new type of corpro currency, a corpro coin, that you can start profiting from today. All you have to do is go buy a Pepsi product, a plastic bottled corn syrup, aspartame, or tap water product, or one of their extremely processed corn and chemical based snack foods, and you'll have earned a PEP coin, which you can exchange for US Federal Reserve notes once you have collected enough PEP coins. Compared to Bitcoin and other computer code based fiat currencies, PEP coin is gained via real tangible codes found on junk foods you already buy anyways. And the exchange rate has even gone up recently, just like all these other great investments that are based on computer code. Um, so now, when you go mine for Pepcoin, um, you'll get even more Federal Reserve notes back um, at the better exchange rate. And you can mine these PEP coins at your local global conglomerate PepsiCo retailer like 7-Eleven and gas stations. So make sure you go uh, support your great American cornbread corporal currency. You can buy three PepsiCo products a day and make money by spending money. The American way. So become a pep billionaire and go buy some Pepsi stuff. Pepsi. It's so what's for dinner, damn it. <clears throat> Our second sponsor of the episode is Wipe My App, the app for folks who want to stimulate the economy by commoditizing the cleaning of one's derriere. <clears throat> With their patented app swipe technology, you can choose who might be a good match to act as your personal bidet, and also choose whose bidet bidding you might be best for in this gig economy. If you already use a dog walking app, just imagine how much more time you could have if you didn't have to waste yours wiping your own app and toiling away at the toilet. Go deep in the gig economy. Download Wipe My App today. Now for some current event talk. How about that rent jubilee? With the rent moratorium being currently extended to the end of March and the $1,400 check, I mean the second part of the $2,000 check that we were supposed to already have gotten, um, being it issued now and what's sounding like mid-March, we'll probably be seeing double-digit percentage of these checks going from the government to the recipient and then straight to their landlord because their back rent from at least half a year will come due and what are they going to be like um well I'll take your $1400 check and you can stay in the place one more month while you can look for a job but yeah um 
While the moratorium might be extended further, it will only make the lump sum due when it ends even bigger. So even if this doesn't end up going down in March, things will come to a head sooner or later, and I wonder if people that live in the U.S. will be okay with probable tens of millions of people being evicted at one time, and if enforce, enforcement officials even have the ability to carry out such a task with any sort of success. I'm a property abolitionist, so I hope that people realize this ownership propertarian ideology is unsustainable, untenable, and needs an overhaul and reassessment. But I'd imagine we might actually see landlords and the owning class um, coming out in favor of a debt jubilee, so long as their property claims will continue to be intact and enforced after the jubilee. <coughs> Telling people they don't have to pay rent, well, won't have to pay their back rent, will keep them from taking that next step of realizing that our species could just stop recognizing these excessive ownership claims and try a new system like stewardship, resource-based economy, or even animism with everything even rocks, quote, owning themselves. And really, ownership is just a claim of control over something. And all you can really control is yourself. And sometimes you can't even do that. Thanks for watching. Press all the thumb and shiny red buttons below. I hope to keep these going, so give me some topics to talk on. Don't forget to get some Pepcoin, the only financially sound Copro currency, and download that Wipe My App app right away and give the gig a go. Peace out, Isaac. I thought I should probably do this part of the video too. Um, I did get some pep coin to demonstrate, um, but this bottle was open when I got it, and I'm not gonna drink it. But you can see there's the little symbol, and you open that up, and then. There's like a code in there and then you go to their website and you like type it in and yeah, you can actually get money on your PayPal or Venmo or whatever. Um, but um, just so you know, I was um, very dryly joking through that whole thing. So uh, yeah, I don't really recommend or suggest you buy tap water in a one-time use thing. Um, nor should you buy this trash, but yeah, that's the, uh, Pepcoin logo, and, uh, yeah, you, like, type in these codes up front, like the expiration date and stuff, and then you scan this little thingy, and then they send you, like, 10 cents for a bag of chips and, like, 19 cents for a bottle of whatever they put in the other drinks and uh yeah so it's basically a rebate um thing that they have to also call a sweepstakes or something but uh yes um so i do have my product placements although obviously pepsi had nothing to do with this video and um uh, I would never have anything to do with this video if I was Pepsi, so, 
I didn't like Pepsi. Like, ugh, I never got Pepsi when I did drink that shit. Like, vanilla Coke, yeah. Mm. I wonder if they have, like, Mexican vanilla Coke. Well, anyways. Um, see you next video. Thank you for watching, and enjoy your time.